Oh, it's true. There are a lot of meta narratives, um, and they're in competition. And uh, so we ask the question: How do I get a hearing in my from my pulpit, my congregation, of something that um, we have no budget for television advertisement? Uh, I'm never going to be on the glossy pages of the magazines. Um, but I think we have to realize that we have an enormous advantage over Madison Avenue. We know the names of these people. We're in their homes. We live with them. They see us live. We, there's nobody in a culture that I'm, I hope I'm, I don't think I'm exaggerating, that has as much access to the dailiness of people's lives as the pastor does. Now, if, we're, if we realize that, when we talk about a grain of mustard seed or a, some salt or uh, manure on a fig tree, um, we've, we have um, soil that's been worked by, we've been with these people in life and death, birth, divorce, cancer. Um, we have prepared ground for these things to start working. Jesus was not in a hurry. Pastors better not be in a hurry because it's like going to the potatoes you planted um, two weeks ago and pulling them up to see if they're growing. They don't do that. It doesn't work that way. It's, um, it's interesting that there's so much agricultural imagery in Scripture. Um, now, those of us who don't have gardens, don't work on farms, um, we are very, um, it's very easy for us to substitute mechanical, technological, um, financial metaphors for what the Bible uses. But I think, I think we have to rem be reminded constantly we have an incredibly ad advantage over Madison Avenue, really do. And, um, but we have to be patient, persistent, and not give up what we're doing. It's, it's more important than what they're doing. And in the long run, it's going to be more effective. But we can't be in a hurry.